In this video, I'm going to download and set up a free SNMP server uh, with PRTG and then use it to monitor a switch. This should be able to be completed in less than 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my uh, Microsoft server, 2019 server, already set up and I'm just gonna Google uh, PRTG download. And there it is. I'll click this ad and just do the free download. And that finished. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Okay, accept the agreement. Here it's asking for my email address that I'm going to put in um, with a video pause so you guys don't see it. And here it goes. I'm going to choose the express installation. Okay, so that took a minute, but now it is firing up and it should load up with 100 free sensors. Um, actually, for the first 30 days, you can have more, you can have unlimited sensors, and then after that, you get 100 sensors for free. And there we go, it finished. Um, and I'm actually going to access this from what my web page. So 10.0.0.5.8080. And the default credentials just pop right up, and you can go ahead and log in. And it started auto discovery, so it's already shooting off alarms. And if we go to devices, we can see that it's actually already finding like a. Uh, some of, my, some of the devices that I have. The only things that I'm going to set up are the group name, and I'll call this Uptime Network and Voice, and the SNMP Community String. Right here. Credentials for SNMP devices, and it recommends SNMP version 2C which is what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I am just going to call this alert me, please. And that's fine for my little home lab and click save. So now I'm going to hop over to my Cisco switch and um, I'm already logged in and I'm going to go into global configuration mode. And I'm going to start typing SNMP. Community. Then it just wants the community string, which was alert me, please. And then I'm going to do read only. Enter. Then I'm also going to put in a location and a contact. So SNMP server location. And I'll just say. Springfield, Missouri, and an SNMP server contact, and we'll say Martin at uptime network.com. And that should be good. We can now move back to PRTG. And I'm going to go to Devices, and it did not find this one, which is interesting. So I'm going to right-click Network Infrastructure. This is what was just automatically put in here, and I'm going to add a device. And I'm just going to call this one C3560 dash lab dash A. Yep. And then give it an IP address 10.0.0.4. And I might as well tag it with a Cisco logo if I can find it. I'm not seeing one right off the bat, so I'm just going to forget this. And I'm actually going to do standard auto discovery. And it's going to inherit it from network infrastructure. Um, 
and it'll get the credentials for SNMP devices that we set up. So I'm going to press OK now and let that run. And we are seeing some sensors starting to pop up. I see the ping and then there's also some of this VLAN traffic. Um, it's finding the VLANs that I have on it and starting to monitor those. And then the trunk traffic, it picked that up automatically. Um, and then all this other data should start filling in as well. And there we go. And I would get rid of some of these. I mean, I don't allow um, port 80 or 8080 80 traffic to my switches anyway. So I'm going to delete those objects. You only have a hundred to play with, so I'd only keep the ones that we we really need. I don't really need uptime, um, and then uh, whatever else you would want to delete, and then uh, you can also you're gonna want to modify like the description. See, right now it's just ping. So if you get this alert, you're gonna want the the device name. So I would just put in the 3560. CX, yada yada yada, you get it. Um, then the IP address, just so when you get these alerts, you know what's alerting. You don't have to look into it. Um, so that's about it in about 10 minutes. Downloaded and installed PRTG and added the configuration to a switch and it is now being monitored Obviously, there's a lot more you'd want to do you'd want to set up the email address the tech SMS uh, Alerts um, Whatever whatever your means of notification are going to be and then you'd want to play around with your devices put them into different groups Etc, but that is enough for a lab SNMP uh, Monitoring system. I hope this was helpful if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. And um, uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks.